Black Lives Matter. And hashtag this is where racism ends. If you agree with me, pass it on and be sure to tag your friends. Better still wear the t-shirt, share the gift, the meme, the quote, to sign the right petition. But what you must never, ever, ever do is admit your part in this situation. Racism isn't something in someone else's life. It's here, it's now, it's everywhere. Racism is rife, it's in the images we breathe, the art that we drink, every microaggression, the little assumptions we secretly think. Don't get me wrong, it can be defeated, but until we've altered the narrative, that task will never be completed. This whole world needs dismantling, a pulling apart of the racial hierarchy, which even today is as relevant and prevalent as the all-consuming patriarchy. I mean, they're killing black people in the States. It's 2020, over 200 years since the Age of Enlightenment, and they are killing black people in the States. They're shooting them, beating them, kneeling down and choking them. And then when we see America burning after 400 years of provoking them, Trump has the audacity, the stupidity to posture like an orange infantile John Wayne. When will the West actually wake up to the fact that it has caused its post-transatlantic slavery pain? And when I say it, I mean all of us with agency for change. We can't just start shouting every time someone dies. Our outrage has to be sustained. This is constant lived experience to our eternal shame. And it's not a case of compromise and mediation. We know where lies the blame. White privilege. There, simple, succinct. After that, everything follows. Everything is linked. Did I say they're killing black people in America? This is what's happening in the old US, the land of liberty and democracy. Your Uncle Sam is drenched in a bloody mess. Don't misunderstand me. In the USA, systemic racism can lead to fatality. But here in the United Kingdom, systemic racism is also a reality. Yes, I said it. The UK is a racist country, all right? And if you can't see it or you disagree, I hate to bring race into it, but you're probably white. I'm not trying to stir up hate or alienate or discombobulate. I just think if we're going to make progress, we should lay our cards on the table and all play it straight. White privilege, the power of the ruling elite, Boris Johnson, Jacob Rees-Mogg, the toddler that likes to tweet. I mean, that's something we could do, something really basic. Stop electing buffoons who are so clearly bloody racist. Boris Johnson, RPM, talking about watermelon smiles and letterboxes. Well, he can fuck off and take with him all the Katie Hopkins and Lawrence Foxes. Lawrence Fox trying to silence an expert in race when she called out his privilege. What made Lozza an expert? Oh, that's right, his posh white male aristocratic lineage. And over in the US, you have Donald Trump, the intellectual equivalent of a toxic dump. A man so ridiculous he's straight out of farce. When he tweets or speaks, it seems to come straight from his ass. These are our leaders. No wonder I'm feeling despair. We're after reconciliation, guidance, a calming voice. But it's nowhere. Men in uniforms killing black people, what more can I say? Wasn't that the modus operandi of David Duke and the KKK? What progress has the world made with such stark division? The year is 2020 and we're a million miles from perfect vision. It's not enough for us to just post pictures, quote, slogans that express our dismay. We also need to call out and combat the racism we see in our lives every day. We have to be the change we want to see. I don't mean that as an inspirational quote, I mean it quite literally. If you own a company with no people of colour in the organisation, is there a reason for that, or is that a form of professional segregation? If you decide to package other cultures and use them to make money, that's not art, it's cultural appropriation. It's not quirky and it's not funny. If you hear a joke that sounds off colour making light of race, will you actually call it out? Or will you just keep quiet and save face? When you go out shopping, will you go out of your way to support businesses of colour to make sure they're okay? It may not be convenient, maybe they're not local. But just now when you said, what can I do? You seem pretty damn vocal. Are you prepared to do what needs to be done? Sacrifice, give what needs giving to dismantle the racial hierarchy, even if it means changing the life you're currently living. I nearly didn't write this poem. I mean, look at me. I'm not black, but we do what we do to show solidarity, to say I've got your back, to say I support you. I've experienced racism, but it's your plight that got me crying. To say I know my actions aren't enough, but I'll never quit or stop trying to say that words are insufficient, to say, to say, to say that I will be your ally and follow where you lead the way. Black lives matter. We're so tired of grieving. Living without racial equality 
It's like trying to live without breathing. <laughs>